interlude before a night falls. Oh. Ooh, pretty music. It is a day like any other, so normal that it was almost painful. The only special thing that could be said about it is that it's October 31st. Did we just... Go back in time? Yes. Ah. But were the memory... Far were the memories when I was a kid and went out with my friends to ask for sweets from house to house. Disremembering made me sigh. I feel no... I can't ever say that word. Nostalgia? Yeah. Some things were better when I was a child, or at least seems that way. There were some who had good costumes, whether a superhero or monsters. My friends and I, on the other hand, had to use our imagination. Creativity was our costume, you could say. Haha, <laughs> that's kind of cheesy. No matter how funny it could sound, that was pretty cheesy. I remember that my mother once painted red on my face and told me, You will be the devil. Wow. <laughs> Wow. But it seems only she saw it that way. When we went from home to home, everyone said I was a tomato man. Ah. Uh, uh -huh. Poor dude. Actually, I should say poor me. But those things didn't matter to me since we always had a good time. Dot, dot, dot. If I ask for candy now, Cat, would you stop using the literal box already? Scratch, scratch, scratch. I'm sure you can hear it. Yes. <laughs> Jeez. She's, uh, she's not even using it. She's just like kicking litter everywhere right now. If I ask for candy now, even if I had the best costume, I'm sure no one would give me anything. Except perhaps a scolding for acting like a child when I'm 17 years old. Okay, we're 17. But anyway, I can't stay in the past. I must live in the present, no matter how no matter how little exciting that might be. Dot, dot, dot. Back to reality. We are a group of friends who don't have any plans for today's so we're about to. What's Dun, going on with this room, by the way? What is what? that? What is what? You sat the chair. Um. Beside the chair, that's one of those little nook dresser thingies That's so weird. cabinet we are still not old enough to go to a disco, Ooh, disco what <laughs> anyway i doubt you guys will allow us having and i doubt guys as us would have any luck in that environment the other option would be to go to a party meet guys and have fun everything's mm. perfect Except that nobody has invited us. Not being popular has its advantages. That's why you go to the parties. Hey, Axel, let's let's have a couples match. What do you say? <laughs> oh, you kill me, my mini. So they're not a couple. They're not having a couple match. They're having a couple matches of something. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> My friend Mimi. Okay, potato. <laughs> Come pay attention while playing the game console. You were playing a game. Rush Red. I believe that's what the game is called. A feist, feist? A fast and quiet, complicated <laughs> fighting game for me. I would normally agree to play with him, but for some reason I didn't feel in the mood today. I have no desire to play now. I replied with discouragement. I almost feel bad for doing it. Boring. The AI is no rival. Right, shut up. No <laughs> rival for me. <laughs> Steven said with confidence. Say it with more confidence. No. AI is no rival for me. That's what. Right, rivals. Rival. I'll get countrified up in here. Now that you're playing on normal difficulty does not help your argument. I don't feel like losing, but if you won't, you can challenge Alfred. Alfred? You can challenge two Alfred. You can challenge Alfred. Two don't sound right. 
Yeah. I said leaving the attention to my other friend. <clears throat> I don't I know how to play that. <laughs> 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 and sit out for downing for a second. He is sitting behind the PC, but it seems that he isn't doing anything interesting. The screen only shows a lot of text. I think he is into Wikipedia. He is oh, into. He's reading. Okay, okay, hush. Hey, mm -hmm. don't you have something more fun to do? I asked with discouragement, without even thinking about what he was reading. Alfred looks at me surprised. The actual problem of society is that people are not interested in discovering their history. My voice is going to change. <laughs> he is one of those pseudo intellects always looking for any rare information to appear smarter than others. We will not forget our past mistakes. We are doomed to repay them. He added later. <laughs> Shut up. What are you talking about? This village is small. Its story is not interesting at, at all. Nothing outside of normal has ever happened. Happened in here. In it. Me <laughs> Alfred laughs mockingly after hearing that. <laughs> Your ignorance is worthy of praise. Oh shit, okay. <laughs> his balls filling his chest with prize. pride. Pride. <laughs> the very fact it is a small town is a reason it's full of mysteries. Did you know that 20 years ago, on this date, a man disappeared? <laughs> no? What about it? I asked without being impressed or even interested in the least. Things like that happen all the time in places. As I thought, you don't know the history despite living in this very place. Alfred said while adjusting his glasses in an arrogant gesture. You can't see me, but I'm doing it in real life, okay? You've got glasses? I have glasses on. I have glasses on too. Dun dun dun! There is a legend behind the disappearance. This is what I was reading. After listening to him, I looked back at the computer screen with curiosity. It's then that I noticed that it was not Wikipedia, but some other page. Come on, read this and learn a little. Alfred said, inviting us to read what was on the screen. Both Mamini and I moved closer to read it. Town of blah 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 country, 1994. I came to this town with only 4,000 in inhabitants to support the <laughs> investigation. Truth is that never in my life have I seen something this strange. I won't say your typical detective nonsense that I have seen thousands of strange things in my life. I've seen many crimes, yes. Some difficult to solve, but all of them were... Even if you don't know how they managed to perpetrate the crime, you know what... Ugh, you know that they are people like anyone else. In this case, I don't think I'm able to say the same thing. Truth is that I can't understand what happened. I was called for the disappearance of a man named Matthew Graham. 23 years. Single. The last time he was seen, he was returning from home from a Halloween party. He had drank alcohol, but was still sober. Or at least that's what the witnesses said. Anyway, this is not something which can be explained with simple drunkenness. He apparently got lost on the way home and decided to enter the forest called Oakwood. Had rain yesterday, so the road, the ground was wet and muddy. We could easily find his traces, which were leading deep inside the forest. Apparently, he walked for three hours before stop stopping. I said stop, but the truth is we don't know what happened then. The track suddenly ended up in a clearing in the forest. And that's all. There's no 
evidence of struggle. No other traces. No pieces of clothing on the ground. There's no blood. No more footprints. Or anything else. Depth of his last footprints and the position that they were in, in indicated. De- indicated that he was still walking. At, at no point he stood still. It was as if he vaporized in the in the blah, 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 blah. <laughs> in the air <laughs> with all his clothes in the middle of his walk. Obviously, I can't believe such a thing, but I can't give. Another ex- bleh, explanation. The only thing I remember is that near the footprints, I s- sensed a faint smell of rot. Uh oh, we smelled rot before it too. However, there was no animal corpses nearby. It is ridiculous to think he suddenly decided to decay and become earth. In the end, the case was closed in just three days. With no evidence of any kind, we couldn't say anything, but then he decided to escape from the village. However, while officially there was no more to do, I could not sleep in peace. Thinking about what could have happened to him took away my sleep. In my mind, I thought of all all sorts of theories. Like maybe everything was was a plan developed by Matthew. But in the end, they seemed impossible. I decided to investigate more on the issue. I searched the town for familiar stories, and to my surprise, I found four more. All young men. The stories were was all the same. They walked into the forest alone, disappeared without a trace. Even more curious is that all of them disappeared on the same date, October 31st. But there is more. A detail that completely eliminates the possibility that there is a killer or kidnapper behind this. And that is the separation of the years. Roger Bacon (laughs) (laughs) disappeared in 1924. Michael Smith Mitchell, whatever, freak. I don't care. I don't care. Disappeared in 1867. Jason Black disappeared in 1813. And the worst of all, you say it. <laughs> Disappeared in 1707. That's a lot of years. It wouldn't be the same person. Yeah. It simply couldn't be possible. My curiosity led me to dig deeper. I thought the answer may be in the past of the forest. It was then when I discovered that what seemed to be a simple, boring forest actually had a great story. Or should say, actually hidden Hid a great story. There we go. <laughs> Before it was called Oakwood or Oaks Forest, the place was called. Say Witchwood. Wh- yeah, I was talking about that. Witchwood. The word which has huge. Similarity. Similarity. Oh, jeez. Similarity with Taking into consideration that. It's now he's different accent. Okay, it is an old name and language change over time that in it wow <laughs> indicates that it was the forest of the witches. Keep in mind, guys, she's having to read this off of uh, me sharing my screen, and my screen is kind of small, so it might be hard for her to see everything. Be patient with us. Apparently, more than four. Hundred years ago, the people of the village believed witches lived in the woods. Ooh. Unfortunately, almost all the information is already lost. There were stories told in voice without a proper written record. I just know that with the change of religion to Christianity, people stopped seeing witches with good eyes and began to hunt them. Apparently, the last before her death cast a curse on the forest, which even today should continue to exist. (laughs) Anyway, obviously I cannot accept something like that as an answer. In the end, I have no other choice than to accept that each of them escaped from the village. 
using the legend of the forest to make it look like it was something supernatural. 